welcome to Gals Galavance. On this episode, we'll be taking inspiration from the Scandinavian TV detective show, The Bridge. We'll be spending 40 hours in Copenhagen before taking the bridge back over to Malmo, Sweden. Come get lost with us. That's the longest passport control queue I've ever seen. So, uh, welcome to Copenhagen. This is literally the coolest that's left ever. Wow, this is like the circle. Well, it's supposed to be oh, a circus. Need to use- right, so uh, we're in Copenhagen. I couldn't really get to do an intro earlier on because we're really busy. But uh, that's the cheapest flights we've ever got. Ten pound each way. Never in Copenhagen for two and a half days. So we are going to enjoy this place. So come get lost, please. Mm, girls, girls, lads. Where have we gone? I think it's called Vespero, and it's the um, the old meatpacking district. Uh, yeah. Where all the kind of merchants used to have their shops and things like that. So there's bars um, and stuff. So, and yeah. In cool. this day and age, it's all bars. So it's quite cool, it's quite safe here tonight. So let's go get some food and a drink and then head back. First night, chill out. So this place is called Warpix. It's in the old meatpacking district. Uh, we're still meatpacking next door, so it's been turned into a kind of hipster retro bar. Uh, and we were drinking two microbrewery beers called Fuck Hoff. So, uh, Fuck Hoff, F U K H O F. Yeah. Uh, first night in Copenhagen. We'll drink to that. The nightlife here is amazing. It's so busy, but it's so bouncing and bumping. Everyone's cool. It's so busy and then you see this. Yeah, we're so totally busy but we're in like this industrial meat parking area but it's cool, it's like something like Robocop. It's so weird, <laughs> isn't it? So there's our hotel. <laughs> Tivoli Gardens. Which is an old Victorian theme park. Uh, so that's where we're going to go now. We're going to go check that out. It's going to be cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's really, really, really old and it's all kind of old worldy kind of world uh, kind of fair kind of thing, like you know like the Eiffel Tower was built for that kind of thing. I think this was built for the same idea. Yeah, and this was the inspiration for Walt Disney. Really? Yes. This is where he came and that was where he got his inspiration So from. he basically just ripped it off? Yeah. Awesome. Right. the original. Let's go see like Walt Disney Point Zero. How awesome is that? That is high. In the main station is cool. It's 7-Elevens. Dunkin' Donuts and all sorts. Finally in. Okay, our experience of Denmark so far is that they like queuing. They just like to be really slow in the queue. <laughs> so, this is us. We're in Tivoli Gardens. Um, we've just been informed that it's quite a special day today. There's lots of music skills here. We've been to lots of concerts. This place is awesome. Very, um, it's a very it? yes. cool. Even the bars are like themed. There's whiskey in the jar roll. This is amazing. That's cool, isn't it? Look at that. This just blew my mind a bit. Honestly, you see this. Oh, I need to go on at least one roller coaster. Oh, that looks awesome, but rubbish. Which is, which is the awesome thing about it. I'm not, no, we're, we're, we're not going on that one. Yeah. Just, yeah. We're about to go to Tokyo. This is awesome. This is the pure Chinese, Japanese part. Oh my god. I'm so happy that people told us. Like we were given a top tip by someone else to come here first and that's the only top tip I can pass on so far. This place is amazing. Honestly, you need to come and experience this because it's it's like being a big kid again. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, look at that! 
So there's lots of concerts here today because it's a special day, so that's cool. Hopefully get some funk maybe. Awesome. Although there's a keyboard which is a bit weird. Sarah Brightman. She's awesome. Uh, so this is actually happening. It's alright. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is the end. This is Nim. This is our meal, so you can go from the Middle East, which is over there, to uh, China <laughs> in like 10 steps. I don't know what they're playing today. Let's go see what these guys are playing. I thought this was animatronics, but it's, it's not. It's just really freaky. What are you doing? You're being a spooky, spooky little duck thing. Definitely not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Denmark is cool. It is another world. Oh, that's not bad. Half a chicken and chips for £90. So that's £9.50 for yeah. something to eat. It's not too expensive. It's probably about that place at home. Or Disneyland. Well, this is another bit we haven't seen. There's a pirate ship. Oh my god. Can you go on the pirate ship? That's a fair size, isn't it? Awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. Hey my guy. So there's fish food and you can feed the fish. Those look like some chairs they, and noble. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they need fish. Hey duck, how are you doing? This is strange. Kettle drums. <laughs> real Mimi, real Lady Marmalade, Milan Rouge, kettle drums. It took us like an hour to find this right. <laughs> We're in another queue. This is like the runaway train. It's sort of the original one that inspired the one at Disney. We've seen the Vagar brothers do this and we kind of thought it looked awesome so I'm going to shoot it on my Theta 360 as well so you guys can have a look and see what it actually looks like as well as a GoPro so let's see how that works. This is running my train. Welcome to the running my train in 3D. <laughs> let's see how this works. <laughs> oh, look inside. Right, okay, right, hold on tight because this is a big bit. Tia 360. Let's go for a little ride, guys. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, no, shit, right. I should have had sunglasses on when I started this. <laughs> that was amazing, right? We just went on the runaway train ride. It was so good. Okay, so the way the ticket system works here is, it's basically like home. So you can either get an all-inclusive wristband, which costs, what was it, 20? Uh, 20, 20 including your ticket. 22, I think it was 22 including your ticket to get in. Or you can buy your individual tickets from ticket booths like this. Uh, they're all in English. So you can go in and buy your tickets. 
individual tickets please so they're 25 each so they're about 2 pounds each and you can buy up to four each ride is two tickets so it depends on and if you're going to come here and go on all the rides get the all-inclusive wristband it's amazing uh we only went on a couple so we didn't but this place is it makes you feel like a big kid again can you leave this place this amazing fairy tale place and go and get some culture I want a wee toy for Josh. It's after dark and we enjoyed Tivoli that much today that we've come back tonight. We want to see it all lit up. It's wee twinkly lights and see how different it is. Try and get some nice SLR photographs and stuff as well. So it's raining but we're Scottish so it's actually it's quite tame in comparison so it's kind of fun. Here we go. Let's see this place at night. So this place at night. It feels so much different. It's just it's quieter, there's not as much craziness, but it's pretty. All the lights and it's got a different kind of atmosphere, but it's a proper carnival atmosphere now. It's really cool. Chain, isn't it? Japan. Japan. Ah, it's amazing. Come here. Before you die, you need to come here. That's the mission. Do it. <laughs> Just know. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pirate ship to themselves. Avast ye, mateys. Make your walk the plank. Arr. Star. Top tip if you're here, come here at night as well because it's a different place at night. It's, it's beautiful, it's romantic, it's just, it's a different world. Definitely do it.